Go made my way here to the starting gate to see two Japanese horses school. This is going to be American Bikini in the Juvenile Phillies and Don Frankie in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Right now, what they're doing, they are fulfilling a mandatory obligation to go ahead and pass a schooling test here with the assistant starter. So you can see Don Frankie on the right, the Philly American Bikini. She's right there on the left, right behind her. Look, we're familiar with these pedigrees, too. American Bikini, American Pedigree. She's by your Triple Crown winner in American Pharaoh, out of a Bernardini mare, and she has rattled off back-to-back -back wins for American Bikini. And then you have Don Frankie, who's going to be running in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Don Frankie, two starts back. He was second in the Dubai Golden Shaheen, although it was a non-threatening second. He was defeated six and a half lengths, but he's coming off the victory in the Cluster Cup as he comes into the Breeders' Cup sporting a record of one for three, two in the money finishes in 2024. So that is Don Frankie, who's going to be schooling in the gate first. And a couple of cool tidbits here, guys, on both of these horses that Kate Hunter, the representative for Japan, when they travel internationally, told me about both of these runners. First off, Don Frankie, one of his recent victories in Japan, he became the heaviest horse to win a group race in Japan. She told me that when he won that race, he weighed over 600 kilograms. Kilograms. I did the conversion. That's over 1,300 pounds. So that's a meaty boy that's just loading into the starting gate right there. Don Frankie, an absolute tank, has just moved into the starting gate for his schooling session. And then on the right side of him, that is the Philly American Bikini, who is also schooled here at the starting gate as well. And a cool tidbit, Mike, on American Bikini that Kate was sharing with me. She only has three lifetime starts. She's rattled off back-to-back -back victories. But this trainer of American Bikini actually inquired about Breeders' Cup logistics to Kate Hunter before this filly even made her career debut in June. So if you want to judge that on the confidence this trainer has, he knew the type of talent that he had with his daughter of American Pharaoh to be inquiring about the Breeders' Cup before she even ran. That reminds me of uh, the Howard Hong story with Indian Blessing. You ever hear that one? No. So Howard Hong, who did the simulcast for um, Turf Paradise for years and years and years, went to Vegas, tried to get odds from different bookmakers on a horse to win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies. The problem is the horse had never started before, and it was Indian Blessing. <laughs> he made quite a few dollars on that. shooting your shot early. Yeah, exactly. So the American Bikini, before the horse ever starts, what, what are the travel logistics to Del Mar for... The Breeders' Cup. That is when your horse franks their form.